described as a first for the region, the Read to Rise organization hosted the first ever Cape Flats book festival that showcased local authors, illustrators and booksellers. The aim of the book festival is to create an excitement on the Cape Flats about reading through positive engagement with books. Read to Rise chairperson Ethel Williams says establishing the Cape Flats book festival is an act of hope to encourage the young ones that reading is important. It's the first book festival on the Cape Flats and, and we've called it the Cape Flats Book Festival. Um, it was this idea, born out of the idea that uh, there are so many amazing writers on the Cape Flats but we never get uh, access to the platforms of other festivals around the country. And so if we can't go to those festivals, I wanted to bring the festival here to the Cape Flats. So the main aim was to give Cape Flats writers the opportunity to showcase their writing and their books, but also to bring uh, some of South Africa's best writers and poets to the Cape Flats. And so we've got this mix of new unknown writers who are here, but also acclaimed award-winning authors here as well. So the importance of reading uh, does a number of things. So reading uh, is able to develop your thinking in a powerful way. So I, you know, I've got five master's degrees from some of the best universities in the world. And even though it's in, in maths or philosophy or finance, the thinking, the ability to think comes from reading because through reading you structure your thinking, you structure your thoughts. For me, the, the brain's a muscle, just like your other muscles. It's got to be practiced, it's got to be trained to become a stronger muscle. But also reading shows, opens you up to possibilities, right? Through imagination, through imagined stories, you actually travel to those places. And so for us in the Cape Flats where we've got so many negative things around us, reading offers us the chance to travel to those places away from some of our struggles. And that's a powerful thing to inspire people. My team, uh, we had a dedicated team that spoke to Mr. Ethel and his team over a number of um, uh, uh, months. Um, it was on our annual plan for this year. Uh, it has been communicated and accepted by our governing body last year as part of this year's planning. Well, uh, any question, uh, people ask me questions like that, I'll always make a, you know, an example like saying when a child is born, a child grow up, uh, the first thing that the child vocabulary would be words, it's not numbers. Um, if you, anybody wants his or her child to be successful in life, uh, my advice is make sure your child can read, not count. The counting develops automatically afterwards. Reading is the most important skill that you can uh, expose your child to. Um, any successful person today would tell you that it's about reading. The Western Cape Premier, Alan Windy, made a special appearance at the book festival and said, the government should invest in this initiative to make it an annual thing. I saw, I saw on social media that there was this first festival and it was a literary festival. So it's about books and reading. And books and reading are so very important for building a future. And when I saw it was the first one on the Cape Flats, I thought I had to be here. And I'm so glad that I came. And it was really great to see it. I still haven't got to all the authors and looked at all the books yet. But uh, this is exactly what we need because it plants seeds in young people's minds uh, reading is about the future, it's about empowerment, it's about knowledge and uh, so I really want to support uh, uh, events like this and I think this could become a really big event and, and a good platform for the Cape Flats for young people to see futures and for us to really embed knowledge and reading uh, into our system and so I really want to congratulate uh, the organizers putting this together and look forward to supporting it and seeing it grow over the next few years. Many people came out to support the first ever Cape Flats Book Festival and Read to Rise chairperson Atul Williams described the book festival as a vision of transforming a seemingly desert into a magnificent forest. For our city news, Byron Lucas, Mitchell's Plain.